This is Rob Bennett. I'm the co-founder of Fran Finders. We're franchise consultants. And today I'm going to talk with you about five tips to not get ripped off when buying a franchise. Of course, overstating the truth, puffery, hype, it's all out there when we're looking to buy a franchise. And to be able to navigate through this, you need to have a clear mind and a steady focus on your franchise search. So here are absolutely five things you need to know to avoid getting ripped off when buying a franchise. Tip number one. Use your head. Think about first the reason why you want to own a franchise. What's your, what's your motivation? Do you want to have extra income? Do you want to build an empire? Are you looking to uh, leave your corporate job and start a business? Have that as your focus. Keep that in mind. And as you're looking at different brands, does that brand help you achieve your goal? So number one tip, have your uh, clear objective. Use your head. Tip number two, Review the franchise disclosure document. Every franchise for sale in the United States has to have a franchise disclosure document, FDD. In that document are 23 separate items, each explaining about the business. Take your time and read through that document, especially with the fees and the responsibilities. Take heed to understand what it is you're buying, the franchise disclosure document. That's tip number two, review the FDD. Tip number three, talk with existing owners. As you're going through your process of understanding a franchise, you need to conduct what's called due diligence and validations. That's actually calling up an existing owner and asking them their experience. How is the training? How is, was the revenue expectations what they thought it was? How, how, what is it like in their market? Ask them, find out, understand the business by talking with other owners. That's tip number three, talk to existing owners. Tip number four, complete a financial forecast. Once you get the numbers from the franchise disclosure document, you're talking with other owners, you're, you're using your current market conditions to find out what the rents and the labor rates are, fill out the numbers. Take the time, take an Excel spreadsheet and put in those numbers. We always, uh, I always mention to people, don't fall in love with the business. You need to fall in love with the numbers. Far too many people get excited in the buy of, of getting a business that they don't take the time to look at the numbers. That's tip number four. Do your financial homework. Tip number five, bring in experts. You can't do it alone. You need to have an attorney, someone, someone who specializes in franchise law to help you review the franchise disclosure document and the franchise agreement. Have an attorney. Also, bring another team member on, a CPA or an accountant who understands small business accounting. Have them look at your pro forma or your financial projections to double check. And also, of course, bring in a franchise consultant where someone who can help you through the process from the beginning all the way through the grand opening through that path. So again, bring in experts. The five tips. One, use your head. Two, review the FDD. Three, talk to existing owners. Four, complete a financial forecast. And five, bring in the experts. Again, this is Rob Bennett with Fran Founders. Make your comments below. Please like and share, or you can email me at robert at franfinders.com. That's robert at franfinders.com, and we'll talk soon.